What's up guys, Luke here, and with the season kind of coming to a point where people are having their states, their their provincials, and kind of gearing up for, for worlds, people are just trying to design for their world spot, right? And I kind of wanted to make a video kind of talking about my take on the meta currently and the most commonly used robots in what I think would be a good rebuild for worlds because a lot of people are, are looking for rebuild ideas. So I kind of wanted to talk about um, a couple criterias, right? So first, I wanted to dive into three of the main types of robots that are in pushback as of now, which is the Raygwan, right? And a Leverbot, which is pretty new and it's pretty hyped up, uh, at least currently, and the Snacky, the SJ bot, right? So I wanted to break it down between these four uh, categories. How easy is it to build? Can it play the current meta well? And capacity and weight. So I know there's under gold or under like the gold bots as well that can traverse under the gold really well. However, I feel like you can build that into any of these bots. So that's kind of just an addition, right? So under gold is just dish. It's, it's just like an extra like addition that you can put onto your bot, right? So we will not really put that in consideration as a whole new bot category. Anyway, so let's kind of break down what these bots are. So this is from the fun interview. And Rayguan is basically just a front to back where the blocks goes in through the front, gets uh, gets conveyed up, and then on the top, comes back out the, through the back, and it usually has a flap that you can do the D score with, and also of course wings, right? Pretty normal. Uh, Snacky is slightly different, right? Uh, for this is their reveal on their recent second bot where it goes and takes an S shape loop around the robot, and the blocks kind of goes out. The, the back and the nice thing about this is it can have more capacity so that's about it for for the snacky bot right and it scores very well as well uh and finally for the for the lever bot i have a video here from robolytics thanks for the team that uploaded this video but oops is deciding to okay there we go i think i got it to work all right so this is the lever bot. It's just basically a leverage mechanism that gets swung up and pushes all the blocks in at once. If you can see on the bottom here, let me replay that one more time. That is the lever bot. So those are the, the three main types of bots that are are currently revolving around in the meta right now. And I wanted to talk about how easy are them to build first. Of course, pretty easy to, to realize Raygwan is, is the easiest to build. Right, because it's just front to back. A lot of people have, have done it, and there are some ex extremely well uh, documented, like robot explanations. Right, I think ten ten, the ten ten G has one, and then um, also the the nine one two three X explanation. I don't know, if, whatever. Just search these up on YouTube. They are very well documented. Right, so this is the easiest to build, I think. Second easiest to build probably would be the snap the, the SJ bot, right? These honestly, this is kind of a tie because um actually I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in this order because the snacky bot also has been around for, for pretty long and so there are quite a lot of documentation on how to build it, or at least you can just hold count very easily. And and the levers is the newest one to the to the the bots that are being widely played. So I think, I think this order is fine. Uh, there's really only one robot explanation I think for the for the lever bot, and and yeah, I, I think the the main concerns for the snacky bot is a lot of times it's just with with how people do do the do the compression right. Like a lot of blocks sometimes do have blocks getting jammed, and a easy or a good fix for that is to use floating layers on the inside too, right? So. Use floating layers for intake on the inside as well. I think that's a pretty good way to do that. And I'll talk more about the lever bot because I really think it has potential, but I think people are completely playing it wrong right now. Anyways, can it play the meta? I think the meta right now is is you have a lot of blocks, right? You do a big match load, right? And you play you play a lot of a lot of like 
a lot of like defense. You do a whole lot of defense scoring. And then towards the end, you start putting like two blocks in, three blocks in, right? And then you just do a whole lot, whole lot of these scoring with the wings. That seems to be extremely good for the meta right now. And Snacky Cake for the Snacky Bot can play this the best because it has the capacity. It has the, the good wing height and everything. I think this is just the best spot for, for the meta because I don't know if you've seen this. I think there's a hundred, there's a 101 prog unofficial skills video released where it's a, like a wide Snacky Bot. So... I think this can play the meta the best. Apart from that, oops, apart from that, I think Raeguan can play the meta the second best. It's just been a really consistent bot all, all around. I think Lever can't play the current meta as you as you was like you, you think it as you think it okay, if you think of it, Rayguan, or the Lever bot, you score everything at once. Which is awful because no matter how many you have, right? If you have like five or six or seven, whatever it is, scoring everything at once, you you're just losing because then other everyone else can just de-score you, which is the whole meta right now is just a de-score, and then you basically clear the entire goal except for the control zone, which is what currently is going on, right? So scoring everything at once is an awful awful choice, but I do think there is there is there is value in in playing a different strategy where where you only score a couple at once i do think i do think there is value if you can score like like two to three at once with the lever bot if you can if you can change your your you can like change some setting on setting on it and make it score two or three at once i think there's some there's some value in that and i think this can this can be in the meta if you can do that right all right um, for, for capacity, of course, I'm going to have to go with the, the, the snacky bot, but make it a wide one, right? So make a, make a wide snap S bot. And what that means is it can hold two blocks on each layer, on each like layer, like it can hold blocks from like side to side. So what that would look like is like, oops, is like, like this, the whole blocks from side to side. Anyways. And then, um, apart from that, second for capacity, I think it would have to go to Raeguan because you can also make it wide. I don't think the the lever bot can hold that much. At least that's what I I have seen, right? Um, for weight, I'm going to put Raeguan at first because you really can't make much that are lighter than this. And then these are honestly going to be tied. You can really make each of them around the same weight. I don't think they're really going to be be too too different on the weight. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to add a category called Auton because and skills. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys way more here. I'm gonna I'm gonna add Auton and I'm gonna add skills and I'm gonna rate their thing for for both. So I'll put these in one, two, three as well. Um, I think for Auton, pretty clear that I actually think that that lever bot is, might be, might be the best for Auton because of its ability to score much quicker than the other, other two. And then it's going to be Snacky and then it's going to be Raekwon. These are tied though. I, I, I would, I would, I would say Snacky and Raekwon are tied. Okay. For skills, by far easy. Snacky is going to take skills, I think. And then... I don't know about Lever. I, th I think I think Lever and and Raekwon are going to be are going to be pretty pretty hand in hand tied in this one. And there we go. I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be like that. And so looking at this, if you're if you're wondering what to build, I feel like it, I feel like a wide snacky is, is what you what you got to build. I think that it is that is going to be great for the current meta because the current meta is like I said earlier, you fill up with blocks and then you just score a couple at a time like you score like two or three at a time and then you just use the wings to push those into the into the center and then you you de-score the rest anyways that's that's my take on it uh do your own research and and yeah that's uh that's about it